Hi, I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and welcome back to The Hive. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this Wiz Smart Button. As always, we'll take a look around the outside of the box. We'll see what's in the box. We'll get up to the native Wiz app and see if we can get it connected to Home Assistant. So while I roll the intro, why don't you take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos each week. While you're at it, if you like what I do here and you want to help to support the channel, there's affiliate links in the video description to a bunch of home automation gadgets that I've reviewed in the past. And other ways to support the channel, like supporting the channel directly using my buy me a coffee link. All of those methods to support the channel are also available on my website, www.hivemindautomation.com.au. With all of that out of the way, Let's get started. So we're well and truly into an impromptu whiz series. And I was asked in a comment on my very first whiz video, which is uh, over a year old now, if the whiz button is any good. So Here's my attempt to answer that question. I picked up this Wiz Smart Button from Bunnings for $39, and I'm interested to see if it's going to work with Home Assistant, though based on our experience with the Wiz Mote Remote Control, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope. As always though, we will take a look around the outside of the box first. So on the front, we've got Wiz Smart Button, uh, one click to control your lights, place anywhere, and two pictures of the unit itself. And it says that it controls all connected by Wiz lights. On the uh, right hand edge, lighting control made pleasantly easy with Wiz accessories, control multiple lights, signal range up to 15 meters, so similar to the Wiz mode. Works even without Wi Fi, again, similar to the Wiz mode. Uh, the perfect ambience at your fingertips, so. Uh, on, off, and uh, brighten and dim there, wizconnected.com, and it says Wi-Fi connection is required for initial setup. Uh, on the back, we've got a couple of serving suggestions there, so uh, just laying on a table and connected to the wall. And it says instant lighting control for any corner. Uh, and on the left, we've got portable button in multiple languages there. Uh, Wiz portable button, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, external accessories not included, magnetic button, wire-free installation, and wall plate provided. Uh, it takes two AAA batteries and says to use alkaline batteries only. Uh, again, there's the uh, Signify address details there uh, and the dimension details of the button and also of the wall plate. Uh, they're both 64 by 64 millimeters, and we'll see those in a few moments. Uh, on the bottom of the box, uh, compliance details, uh, the recycling data there as well, and it's also got Made in China Signify Holdings. So as mentioned previously, Signify is the parent company of Philips. Uh, and on the top, hashtag connected light and Wiz smart button. So with the outside of the box covered off, let's open it up and take a look at the button itself. Uh, so as we did with the Wizmote, we'll pull in from the top here and open it up. Uh, and right at the top here, we've got our two AAA batteries that are included. Uh, at the back here, we've got a uh, quick start guide that is actually just regarding the recycling data that we saw on the bottom. So uh, an exploration of what the symbols mean in a bunch of different languages. Uh, and we've got the unit and the wall plate itself there. So uh, that's fairly nice. The, the wall plate feels quite good. It's got some uh, good quality 3M uh, double stick tape there. Um, it uh, I'm not quite sure what it is that that's made of. Can't tell if it's plastic and it's just got a piece of metal uh, embedded in it, uh, or if it is um, uh, just a cast piece of metal. Um, so let's test that out. So it is in fact the um, 
button that has the magnet in there, uh, and the the wall plate is not magnetic. Uh, so the unit itself, I mean, it feels okay in quality. It's a little bit bigger than the IKEA versions of these buttons that I've seen. Uh, so that's interesting. If I slide the back cover off here, the build quality feels okay. It's a bit plasticky, to be honest. Um, I mean, it's not terrible for what it is. It's just a little bit, it just feels a little bit plasticky. Uh, I'll pop that cover back on and we'll put it on the wall plate there. Oh, inside the box, I missed a little quick setup guide there as well. Uh, so there's not really a whole lot to say about the switch. It's got on and off um, and it's just kind of a paddle. So let's uh, take a look at getting this paired in the Wiz app. So we'll open up Wiz V2, uh, go back to home uh, and I'll tap the plus button in the top right hand corner uh, and uh, select a device type, I'll tap portable button here. I'll select test room. Uh, it says uh, insert batteries in the portable button and tap on start. I've already inserted the batteries, so I'll tap start. Uh, and now press the on button multiple times. So on, 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 and uh, it's now pairing. So accessory found uh, and it's ready to go. So we'll tap done. Uh, I'll go into test room here and I'll just grab the candle lamp and we'll turn that on. There we go. And off. Okay, so we do need to, uh, it seems that we need to give it more than just a momentary tap. So it's not super responsive. If I press and hold, we get the dimming function. And it doesn't seem to have a function where we can override the dimness. So, that, I mean, that's down at, you know, something around 10%. It would be kind of good if I use the on function when it's like that, if it would uh, just go up to 100% or a predefined value. So I'll go into accessories here and we've got two Wi-Fi remotes. It's not showing the button as a different item than the remote. Which really not a good UI. I mean, it works fine. The, the UX design in the Wiz app is not great at all. So the pairing is pretty simple. Let's take a quick look at LandScan. Uh, and see if we can actually see this uh, button in our uh, wireless network. So I'll choose search for Wiz, and we've still only got the Wiz light there. So being that we can't find this remote on the wireless network, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for being able to get this into a home assistant, but let's try it anyway. I'll go to settings in my home assistant here and then devices and services and I'll click add integration and I'll type whiz in here and we'll just uh, leave the IP address empty and use discovery and we'll hit submit. Now, as I say, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this, but we'll see what happens. No devices found on the network. So again, we can't seem to use this button with home assistant in its current state. So that's the Wiz smart button. It's really pricey for an on off and brightness button. And there's still a problem that it requires 2.4 gigahertz for pairing. In my personal opinion, I think you'd be better off with a $12 trad free smart dimmer and a Zigbee bridge like the Combi 2 or the Home Assistant SkyConnect. Sure, a Zigbee bridge is going to blow the cost out a little bit. By the time you get three, four, five, buttons at $12 a piece from Ikea versus $39 a piece from Bunnings, you're going to end up ahead pretty quickly. The fact that we can't get this into Home Assistant really solidifies those thoughts for me as well. Now, as I mentioned with the Wizmote, it seems from some cursory reading that I've done that all of these Wiz devices contain an ESP8266 control board. So I might actually take a look at pulling something apart 
and modifying it to see if I can then put something like ESP Home on there. And that would then allow us to get it into Home Assistant and provide a whole lot more functionality. So in summary, I really don't think this smart button is worth $39. I'm experiencing a little bit of buyer's remorse from this. At $39, I really thought this was going to be good. And unfortunately, it just isn't. The build quality is fine, uh, but the functionality is just seriously lacking. Let me know your thoughts on the Wiz Smart Button in the comments section down below. That's all we have for this video, and I do hope that it helped you in your home automation journey. Be sure to drop a comment down below with home automation ideas you'd like to see me cover in a future video. And don't forget to follow HiveMind Automation on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing now. While you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification when I release new videos, and that's normally each week. Lastly, if you like what I'm doing here and you want to help to support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee link in the video description. Contributions that you make through Buy Me A Coffee get put towards making more and hopefully better content for you to enjoy. And there's affiliate link and the Buy Me A Coffee link also on my website, www.hivemindautomation.com.au. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.